right, folks, we're back here as we switch gears now from our opening ceremony. So apologies for the heavy breathing. Just had a bit of a shuffle up the stairs. We're back here and the referee's wasting no time being sent away for our second semi-final. We saw the Eastern Warriors go through, but you can hear now the grandstand's packed out. I've got my good mate Graham, the big man Bannister, up here with me. And uh, we've got Arab United taking on the Burdekin Delta Dolphins. Yeah, Robert, the uh, Dolphins kick it on the last there, and it's taken by the United team. So the winner takes on the Warriors tomorrow. Got out of jail, the Warriors. Yeah, that was a close game. They only got home by two points, which was a scrappy game, but um, the Angels lost a player for 10 minutes in the bin. That didn't help them. Certainly was probably the turning point of that one. You know, they Two quick tries, and all of a sudden it was... Uh, Eastern Warriors back in control, but uh, all eyes here now as Arab United look to roll out of their end, but Burdick and Delta, their defensive wall, but the offload, a little bit of second phase now. Oh, look at the crew. Uh, look at them come from oh. everywhere. Well, they're up for this one. The Dolphins, they just... That's uh, Theophilia Mosby and uh, Shanae Watson, they're involved in that one. So right across the board here, we've got players that have played at uh, a good level. So we've got the Mara girls for Arab United, so 13, Lyrish Mara there. So she plays her footy at BMD for the uh, Mackay Cutters. And her sister, Jante, who was exceptional yesterday, two tries. And then on the opposite side here, a lot of the girls who are uh, the two Watson girls, Shanae and Chloe. Chloe in the uh, Blackhawks under-19s. And Shanae was uh, a shadow in the Indigenous side a few years ago, uh, the All-Star side, before a knee injury Spent a bit of time out. She's on her way back on the comeback trail. She's uh, You'll like to watch her go around. That's the big uh, the number 10. It is the number 10, Shanae Watson. She'll be right your alley, alley Graham. She's, yeah. uh, she's a big hitter. She only knows one way. Oh, that's the way. Now, number 13, she's up on her feet now. Looks like she had a bit of trouble with the shoulder, but she's back into the play now. So the Dolphins Lucky you've got two of them, eh? That's it. Yeah. Higgity. Well, you can feel some tension in the air for this one. Yeah, and the crowd's getting right behind the Dolphins, the Burdick and Dolphins here. We've seen in the previous game the Warriors had a big fan base. Um, and I think it'd be fair to say the Dolphins fans are here to, in the grandstand behind us as the Dolphins go on attack. But it was a pretty ordinary pass there. Salil Heron, now they go out. It's Steph Area, Mosby Nona. Good tackle. There were plenty in this. Both sides only know one way, and they've had a good carnival. But, uh, actually, yesterday, Burdekin Delta, who led by as much as 12 or 14 points early in their matchup with the Aussie Memorial side, then went behind and had to have two late tries. Two tries in about 90 seconds from their centre, Logan Ron Cardo, just to get him. So you've seen both teams yesterday. Rob, is there a, who, who do you think could win this one? Well, I would have. Prior witnessing these opening exchanges, I would have said Arab would uh, have to be just a shade ahead of Burdekin, but these ladies are up for this one from the Burdekin Delta. Early doors they are. They're, they're three or four in a tackle. Look at that. They've, they've rolled it back two to three metres, so the Dolphins are here to play. Setting they the know that the winner goes into the final. And Ooh, one -on -one. there's a one-on-one -on -one strip. He's looking for help. He's not going to so get it from So the Dolphins there. are only two metres out from their line. Daly. Now here she is, Watson. And Solomon there. Veteran halfback of the Northern Region. Slow to get up. They swing it wide, they'll score. And they've got numbers lined up. And that'll be Chloe Watson. Yes. Chloe Watson opens the account. For Burdick and Delta, and there they was have... a massive overlap to the right, and it was only a matter of through hands and crossed over with no one in sight, so that was pretty easy. I don't want to uh, say it too early, but is there a sniff of an ambush here? Is the ambush on? So, is... the, the Burdick and Delta are, yes. are, have come out steaming. So, the Arab United side, uh. Trace their lineage back through to the Torres Strait region. Okay. And the yeah. Burdekin Delta, obviously, down through uh, the Burdekin region there and uh, through there. Lovely part of the world, the Burdekin. Good for fishing. 
you making the trip up at Christmas time, mate? You might yeah, venture out and see yeah, if we can get I, out I, I'm up here for five days in late December, so you might have to take me out there. What, what are they? What's the main catch out that way? What's the... It's always barra season, mate. That's what barra. you're after. Just chasing the meter. He's chasing the dream. Yeah, so. yeah. Grab us a big barra. Uh, shout out to our good friend, uh, Dane, at Blue Collar Tackle, who's our uh, sister company. And a uh, big supporter of Blue Collar Sports. Dane, for all your supplies, your fishing supplies, you want the meter barras, he's the man to see. Right, eh? But now we've got a shot at goal. Will be Salil Heron. No, oh, geez, way the way. So the uh, Dolphins four. Seventeen minutes remaining. United nil. Well, fantastic opening ceremony we just had as well. Uh, great colour and sights and sounds down there. Great acknowledgement we saw of the 1973 Indigenous side that toured New Zealand and some of the remaining members down there. And I saw the great man, Colin Scott. Oh, as did well. you? Yes, he's posted up around the fields. What an air great player. Oh, outstanding. Showing a bit of the age there. Good carry. Well, talk about the age. I was born in 65, but this year in the Interest Cup, West East Tigers won the grand final this year. Break the hoodoo. Yeah, and it's been the first time for like 30-odd years. But I remember Dad would take me down to East. He was a mad Tigers fan. My dad passed away in February of this year. But he took me down there, and the side was... As they make a break here, but the side for our Tigers back then was Des Morris, Rod Morris, all played for Australia, Johnny Langhar Hooker. Jesus, a fair, that's a fair side. Oh. Lindenberg halfbacks. Oh, my goodness. That's a... Uh, yeah, so the, uh, East there's Tigers, an array there. Yeah, they broke the uh, 30 years. Of Rod Morris, a member Morris. of the Queensland Rugby League as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A stalwart, a lot of workers also once he finished playing rugby league for the game. And his brother Just Des. Sensational names all through there. Just... So here we go, Bird of and Dive for him. Jeez, they're amazing the... pressure, aren't they? So they can just muscle up here in defence of Dolphins and make a mistake, get them to United to make that mistake, then they can go on the run. And geez, I'll tell you, their defence is strong early. It is early. It's just whether or not they can maintain this sort of pace defensively. But their line speed is very good. They're burning a lot of energy in that defence. But right now, there's a... A one-on-one -on, -one on strip here, and she's got the ball of a halfback for the Dolphins. That'll be Stephanie Monday. Stephanie Monday has done a one-on-one, -on -one, so now the they Dolphins go on, on attack. They've got them again here. Oh, they're right. out wide here. They're in if they swing it. And she'll... Oh, they're desperate. Oh, that ball at the ground, has it? No. They've held onto it. So they'll get another opportunity. It's all Caitlin Daly. I'll tell you what, it's all hands on there. Arab United have got away. Well, they have been, they've got off the hook there. That's all I can say. They were like at sixes and sevens at the moment still. Yeah. Forward pack, a lot of hands on hips. They were very lucky there. Yeah, Irish Mara, that's a good carry. And uh, there's about our 54th call of get him on side, sir. So yeah. if you're keeping tally at home. We're right in amongst the punters here, folks. So you're getting all the atmosphere. And the crowd is starting to build too, Rob, in the last five minutes, so... And there's a little bit of a feeling going on. It's a couple of players here. Just a little bit of a... Maybe Solomon. Is that the halfback slow to get up there? A few words said between a couple of players there. <laughs> Penalty. Might have been a high shot. Late. So we've got a player down here for United. A little bit of concern here. At the yeah, moment. she's in a bit of trouble. That is Ange Solomon. Now. She's so had back, uh, back injuries. Seven, yeah. She's had back injuries in the past. And uh, Ange Solomon, one of the best games in North Queensland, you'll find. She, she's a big part of what yeah, we're she, here. But... She's staying on. She's just trying to get her win back. She, she's... 
She'll be right. Give another 20 seconds and she's now going to keep the touch. There we go. Oh, and no, but oh, just down touch. Yeah. But it's got plenty of, plenty of turf on it. Yeah. Plenty of, she made 35 metres. That was a good kick. So United go on the charge here. They're only about 22 out from the line. First foray down this half. So Monday. Let's see now whether Burdick and Delta can weather the storm. This is it. 12 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. They go a big gap there. But she was Desperate. taken out only two metres from the line. They're on attack here. The Dolphins have got to try and muscle up in defence. As United swing it wide. The Dolphins are there in numbers. They're only two metres out from the line. They go swinging out to the right. So the Dolphins' defence, very strong here. They're scrambling defence. There it is, Solomon goes to the air. That'll be too deep. The wind is up. We spoke about it earlier. Yeah, we were talking about the wind earlier, Rob. You said that it had the come doctor in, is in 2 o'clock. It's just 1.30-ish, and the doctor's in. And it's the first one I've called all day, I reckon. So, uh, there, take, chalk that up. Now, Matty Hegarty will get us back started here for Vertican Delta. Now, the fullback here for Erebus United is going to be one to watch there. Big man, Ashlyn Skeen. Okay. Plays her footy out of Cairns. Uh, spent a bit of time down these ways with brothers, but she is electric. But here, Burdekin's just store. They're in a bit of bother here, Burdekin, but Haggerty. Just steadies the ship. Now they're five metres short of halfway. Coming down the short side, Heron, Mosby. Mosby with an upload, Ron Carter. Oh, well, there's a bit of feeling here. Well, uh, she's only slightly built, Logan Roncardo. And they, uh, the eyes lit up when they saw her with not much room to move. Oh, great shot. Hegarty over the top. Well, this has brought the crowd into it. Then a uh, fairly subdued morning. Yeah, they've come alive, the crowd, and then there's been a couple of big hits early. Strong carry now, 20 metres out, 10 metres in from the right-hand sideline. Lorish Mara, offload. So if you do play at 2 o'clock, you're going to remain at 2.30. So on the last, United go to swing it. There's room there. She sums it up. And a great job. Well, it wasn't a bad option. It wasn't a bad option there. They had plenty of numbers. They're here to play. Desperation defence. Now, though, Arab United is starting to warm into this one. Oh, and that, you can hear that from here. Jeez, now, you can't tell me that's not what the punters want to see, I'll tell you what. That'll get them back through the gates. But again, they look to come down the short, and now it's uh, Burdekin that have been stuck down their own end now for a good portion of this. Yeah, they've only made about 13 metres in that last three plays. So. And getting scrappy too, so the lift intensity from Arab it's United. Just the United are putting so much pressure on them. They're, they've lifted their game in the last couple of minutes, United, here. Well, our penalty, yeah, penalty goes to the Dolphins. That'll so be welcome. a bit of a relief. Because they've looked at a bit of trouble there for the last, say, two minutes. You just felt that if uh, Arab United were able to maintain that, sure. that, there was probably going to be points coming shortly. So now the Dolphins, I'll be able to reset here. Just 
take a minute off the clock. Uh, not too many stoppages either at the moment. No. So a quick tap, and the Dolphins are now going to go onto the 50 halfway mark. A lot of these uh, ladies here that are playing today, Dame, have uh, spent a bit of time in the uh, Cowboys NRLW's uh, lower grade pathways with the Gold Stars. So teammates together, travel together, but there's certainly no love lost out here in the middle. I think the, the Cowboys women team was the only team they beat Newcastle. They were. Yeah, and the Knights went on to win the grand final. So, so uh, what are you fighting? saying? That uh, by default, the yeah. Cowboys are premiers. Well, the uh, Knights got beat by them. I think it was up here too. They uh, the... might have had one eye at the Mad Cow, the, the Nova Cashians, but Jante Mara was taking four of them to slow her down. Irish Mara, the one two punch. Yes, the one two punch from the Mara sisters. Game on. You said it. She's game on. And yesterday we had uh, Jante. She was playing down on that left hand edge. She's moved over to the right. And you saw her there, a little line break, dragged in four, and straight off the back of that, her sister, Lyrish, the other sister, just says, thank you, I'll take yeah, that. Yeah, they were never going to stop her, not two metres out from the line. But they've wrestled their way back in, Eric. They're back in it, four apiece, kick the calm. Tricky, like it's not an easy kick. With a breeze too, Oh, with this breeze around. If anyone's going to kick it, uh, a couple of years ago, it would have been uh, 2018. I had the privilege of coaching uh, Ann Solomon to the Marlins, the state champions we were, and uh, a lot of that was off the back of the goal kicking of Angela Solomon, the first time the Northern Marlins had, okay, had won so it. A handy kicker. Very handy. So if there's anyone you're backing in in this competition, if there's right anyone of right, the right. uh, female kickers that we've got here, right, right, we'll see. they've got themselves uh, now, This young. is a tricky kick. If she can kick this... You've got it, probably a battle of the kickers, actually, here. She's got the boot on today because this is going to test her. She's only about oh, three metres in from the touch, from the sideline there. You're back in the rip. 22 back. Breeze. Yep. I'm, right on. Right. I'm on it. I'll take that. $5 scratchy. <laughs> Careful, responsible. Of course, always. You're having a punt in the Everest today? You're having a punt in the Everest today? Yeah. If you've got any mail, Blue Collar Sports on Messenger, just flick one through. Tips, not slips. Remember that. Punt responsibly at home, folks. And Ian Solomon now lining up. That will be a big moment. Uh, with five minutes remaining in the half, yeah, they'll be pretty happy with themselves they if they can go to halftime. Not an easy kick. This breeze has picked up. Jeez, that had every chance. No, I'll tell you. Might have uh, held me breath too long there. I should have no, there's, uh, put the lungs down. Might have blown it back a half inch. But just uh, she'll make an adjustment for that breeze. Not allow for that breeze. But uh, so four minutes. We're all locked 42 up. Forty-two seconds on the clock. Well, that's pretty big. Players have a venture. I don't know if they'd pull a crowd like this. Probably cost them a little less than, less than travel at the moment. What have we got, Paul? <laughs> Paul and Ringo. Is Ringo still with us? Shout out, Ringo, if you're following along at home. <laughs> now, Arab United, they've got their tails up. And the crowd is locked up at four apiece. We've got a player down there. She looks to be in some looks discomfort. Like the 13, is it? Uh, 17, 17 for we the got Chloe Taters. Now, Shanae Watson back on. Looking 
to spark Burdick and Delta. Referee Robert Woods has said uh, so he's seen enough there. We're all court held. Chloe Taters, number 17, is coming off here for the Burdick and Dolphins. Could be a possible HIA there. Yeah, uh, she's just been, she's coming off now as I speak. Jeez, there's going to be a lot of radox Looks going Looks like around. she's holding that uh, left shoulder. All right, eh? So, oh, it, doctor, yeah, uh, it doesn't Dr. look Hawley good. Dr. Hawley there's Yeah. Right? And she'll probably be back later too. No, she, she's gone for the game. You won't see her back. I it's, had her already booked in for surgery. But here we go. Offload. Now they've got an opportunity. Still the legs pumping. Five metres short. That'll be the last. This is the last. They come to the left behind Watson. Lamon. Yeah, oh, that's touched. To They'll they get have... another opportunity here. They'll get another set of six. With two minutes, by the time they uh, get this ball here, 20 set. on the clock, and there's a chance of the Dolphins to score before half time. About eight metres out over it. They take the two. They're thinking about given, it. it. You'd have to take the two. It's still 60 seconds. They might want four or two. I don't think two wins it, so you may as well have a crack. No, they're going to go. They're going for six. So there's a quick tap. Well, I don't think uh, I can't see it being a 6 4 at the end. So, oh, oh Maddie Hegarty. Maddie Hegarty stands up there. I know you love it when the middles get a bit oh, of meat. What a run. She gave her the big don't argue. Get out of my face and she's just crashed over. Yeah, that she's, was uh, a try. Man, I was a raise, me, Hegarty. As get tough as they can. Way. She looked like she was remonstrating with somebody before oh, that. So I might have fought her right up and then she just said, no. Nah. The, the it was just like, just get out of my way. The big don't argue. So A4, put the breeze around, she's what, about six metres to the right of the post. Yeah, I'll uh, seal here and here. Well, um, well, the last nudge, it has, there's no issue with getting the legs. It'll just be, it's I guess, the breeze. reading the breeze. breeze is strong it is up. Now, so yeah. it's, and it's, she's kicking into the breeze. You get a bit of reverse swing out of this. Down so the she'll have to, and more, I'll tell you. Out of the swing thing. Yeah, she'll have to... Um, but that's a fair result, you think, Graham? Half time. Eight four kicks this. Sit ten four. That's a that's a a nice little lead going into the sheds. Probably a uh, you'd say they started fast, Burdekin, and they were out to a four 0 lead. So I guess it's uh, As she a good reflection up. of the first half of footy we had. It had been flowed. Moves in. And it's successful. It. She likes it. So the Burdekin Dolphins ten. Rook Ten United points to four. four, and it's half time in semi final number two. We'll just take a couple of seconds here as both our teams head over to uh, grab the oranges. And we'll take a second, stick with us here. We've got second half action. Winner takes on the Warriors, and the uh, the loser gets to follow along the carnival. Stick with us here on Blue Collar Sports.
Now back here live with the action for our second half. So 10 points to four. Currently, Vertican Delta with the advantage. The Vertican Delta Dolphins. And uh, Arab United. A little bit of work to do. But certainly, by no means, out of this one. No, I think United, Rob, have got to come out it now early and get on the board first. Lock at it, you know. But if the Dolphins, which in that back end of that first half, I thought they were a better side out of two. They started fast, too. Yeah, they started good. And then they just went into, I don't know, sleep mode for 10 minutes. But um, the Dolphins lead by six points. What they can't afford to do here, Vertican, is offer Arab United any cheap ball because they'll make them pay with that. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a solid forward pack that they have. So we're about to experience in the Arab. Just waiting on the referee, just counting to make sure we've got the right amount of players on. So uh, Robert Woods down there might want to take his shoes and socks off to give himself a hand. Got the all clear, blows the whistle, and the second half, we're underway. The Ophelia Mosby. They're flirting with the touch line there. Maddie Haggerty, who scored just before half time, had a run. She's playing well. Heavily involved. Struggling to find metres now. It's a complete reversal of the first half. Mara over the top. Lani Claro there just got herself into a bit of trouble down behind the ruck. Yeah, lucky they didn't get a penalty there. Negative. Yeah. Well, the Dolphins made three metres in the last four there. They were. Um, just running sideways. That wasn't a good set of six at all. So now United are on the charge. You can't go one out against the of United. They just uh, they muscle up and do that up. This has been quite a physical battle, this one. So uh, the Eastern Warriors will be sitting over there. They'll be happy that they're not involved in this. Mara looks for an offload. Couldn't quite get it to go. No, we just got another. Have we got She's a knock on just lost it. She's appealing to the ref that it was stripped, but the ref's not buying into it. I think it's just a loose carry. We got a verdict and dolphins. Player down on the ground here. A I just can't see a number, but there we've got a couple of trainers going to assist. Oh, now the uh, oh, oh well, here ten. is a story. Lyrish Mara has been given now, ten I in the bin. I think that might have been for giving the ref a bit of verbal. It certainly was. Well, we so saw how big a difference that made the last game. She wasn't happy with the ref's decision. She's given the ref a spray. The ref said there's 10. And as they've got the ability to do, the blokes in the middle had many a battle with them and haven't won a lot. Had a many a battle with a lot of blokes in the footy field and haven't won too many either. Quietly, but that certainly is not one that I've got a winning uh, winning record. And that's a penalty. So so now the Dolphins. Arab United down to 12. Just like the last match up, we here just about on the halfway. We saw the difference it made with uh, Eastern Warriors were able to get rid of a deficit and uh, get themselves in front. Yeah, this is a big chance now for the Burdekin Dolphins. Here we go, Maylene Nada in front, and he, he rubbed Nida down to nine, uh, down to twelve players for ten minutes. So. Now, 
Heron goes out to Chloe Watson on the left edge, but Arab United. Oh, and he's caught held again. He's got to get a little bit of uh, control of this one here, Robert Woods. It's getting a little scrappy. Only five minutes gone in the second half. Just a little flat and sideways at the moment, Bergen. Just able to adjust the sliding defence there of Arab United, able to adjust over. Oh, and a penalty right. there. That's a coach killer giving a penalty away on the fifth. When they had a really, really good set there too, again. Yeah, especially you're down one player, so fifth. And they'd struggled to get gives meters. away a penalty. The Dolphins are now kick it out, make an extra five, six metres, and then they'll go on the run about 45 out from the line. And they've needed the help, in all honesty, the Dolphins. Arab United, so that's a good uh, they've muscled up indeed. Yeah, they, so they weren't allowing them out of their half. And these just uh, pressure relievers. So the Burdekin Dolphin Dolphins. They'll appreciate this as Mosby gets to within 20. This could threaten to boil over here. Hegarty. Another strong carry from Hegarty. She played well. Daly. Dummies. Caitlin Daly. A metre short. Shanae Watson buries her head. Jeez, that's good D there. Yeah, good defence. Daly from dummy half. Swings it out to Monday. Lamon. The fullback. Back away in the short. Oh. More desperation defence in the corner. Very good cover defence by the 10 there for the Delta. It wasn't a lot of room to move. Tony Feward. And uh, Joe Morgan, she didn't have much room to work with, but she no. very nearly. But uh... they've got them right where they want them now at the moment. They've got to work hard to come out of this corner, and they're bunched up behind the ruck at the moment. Arab United. United are going to make another change. Here. Number twenty-two is coming on. Uh, oh. Stella Matthews, number twenty-two. Penalty there. As a penalty goes to the United, this will help them. They'll, uh, they, they needed this to get out of the danger zone. That's exactly right. Johnny Farnham told us to take the pressure down, and that's exactly what that did. Oh, now touched, but uh, they'll maintain possession. Just lost their footing there, Ange. That'll be a play the ball. Arab United, five metres. Short of halfway. 17 minutes remaining. Good metres there. I mean, that's a carry, John St. Mara. Oh, she's still going. Pass. And an offload. Ball. Oh, the crowd are going wild. Well, geez, folks, it's... Uh, we're right in amongst it here, and the noise is echoing off everything. Mara again. Oh, and a knock on. on. That knock on will uh, bring that attack and raid to an end, but uh, we're threatening. She's had an absolute power of a carnival, Jante Mara. Yesterday, two tries in the game that we saw on field one. Similar fashion too, just leaving runners in her wake. Powerful. The younger sister of Irish, she's spending a little bit of time in the bin there, so just, oh, she's back now. So we've got a full compliment. So with the carnivals, uh, five minutes sin bins. Oh, five. With it being 25 minute halves, yeah. So right, right. Just a couple of sets off. Would have been handy back in our day, just get yourself a couple of sets off for a spell. Yep. <laughs> if that's all you're going to do, is just give him a... <laughs> Ron oh, good She'll be asking for the number play to that one. Oh. 
They have risen here, Arab United. You can sort of feel there's plenty of momentum behind them. There's a significant shift here. They have. The flags are flying. They have picked up their defence. And now they've forced them the mistake. So now they'll go their 30 out. I think you spoke about it earlier today around the, the, the defence uh, when we were watching the War of Indolats and how good their defence was early. And a lot of people think with carnival footy, it's a lot about attack. It's always fast flowing and it's going. But the games we've seen today, it's really been the side who muscles up in defence and, and can get stuck into their work there. That's been the difference. And that's what we've seen today in a couple of these games. Like you said earlier, the, the um, scramble defence. And same here, like they've just muscled up the last two minutes. They forced an error. Now they're going to get the ball. They're 30 out. If they score here, they'll lock it up. Just uh, Burdekin looking devoid of answers now about how to uh, find a way through this uh, defence from Arab United. Yeah. So Arab United are on the roll here. 15 metres out. Centre field. Just slightly to the left of the upright. Couple of settles. Set loose They're and set then... both ways here. They come to the left. Mara. Oh, oh. God. Well, I'll tell you what. I saw her score a try from exactly the same area yesterday. If she gets that cleanly, oh, that's a shot. That could have been more points. Don't think, and uh, I think you'll find they'll come back there. Now the outside back's trying to relieve a bit of pressure here for Burdick and Delta. Roncardo. Elusive. Now they've found a little bit of work. Stephanie Monday just goes to first receiver and they just try and get that one pass wider of the rack. Just trying to shift this bear of United pack around. Well, you can see the breeze behind that. 40-30 in the women's game too there. Yeah, and... Um... Ashland Skeen charging back into her work. 13 minutes remaining here. Still 10 points to four. Burdekin Delta with the lead. Oh, there we go. That's Maddie Hegarty. She's in everything but the fruit salad, Maddie Hegarty. No, she's played a good game, Hegarty. And at the moment, that uh, try of hers might be the difference. But I feel it's, like it's there's... coming a, off here too as we speak, Hegarty. I feel like there's another chapter to be written. And away we go. There's our Lemon. Lemon now. Has she got the pace? Lemon is over. The desperate diving defence from the lock forward, Lyrish Mara, was unable to stop Kazai Lemon and the Burdekin Delta. Burdekin Dolphin score in the corner. 14 points to four. That's now a 10 point lead. left on the clock. A 10 point lead with 12 minutes remaining now. The winner it's... will meet the Warriors tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock. Arab United, they're Freddie Mercury under pressure. Pushing down on me, pushing down. <laughs> Don't give up your day job. No. <laughs> That's. Oh, it's put a hush over the crowd, too. It's probably yeah, come a, Dolphins, slightly against um, the run of play, to be fair. Arab United. Got a good fan base in the grandstand here, the Dolphins. Both teams. The outside backs, I think, here for the Burdick and Delta, once they got involved and started to move the ball a little bit more, they were able to get a bit of momentum. But Because Arab Still United were winning those exchanges in the middle. Still 11 minutes. So uh, United aren't out of the game, but they must score next. They must score next. Um, so you'll hear in here and no hurry. To keep their one. chances alive, I think. If... if if the Dolphins come out and score next, I think it's shut the gate. It's all over, Barbara Sheldon. 
But if uh, United can come out in this next five minutes or three to five, score, then it could be game on. I wouldn't say it's an upset. Burdick and Delta Dolphins, they've been uh, like through a lot of the carnivals through the northern region. They tend to be at the pointy end. But Arab United were highly fancied coming into this. And a lot of teams would have been looking over their shoulder at Arab United. They've racked up some scores yesterday. But how often in carnival footy? Off the upright. That leaves the door just slightly ajar. Just that slight jar. The light's on. But uh, Maylene Nona, we have to make her way back into this one. And... So still plenty of time. 10 minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. They're going to have to change their arm a bit here. Eric. I think so. I think a short kick off, try and get the ball back. And then build from there. Mate, any side, as long as they've got uh, those two Mario girls in it, you're a chance. Now, yeah, Mosby. I've got a box in this play. Huh? Yeah, Mosby Nona there, captain the uh, Blackhawks under 19 side. In the. Uh, and here's their chance. And now looking to play fast. There's probably a penalty there, nil, no. Mara, low reach that is. Draws plenty of defenders in. Now Ian Solomon looking to get her hands on the ball at dummy half and just take a bit of control here. Oh, big don't Solomon. Argue. Another don't argue. That's a good run by the halfback. She's made a good 10 metres. 10 metres out now. Only tackle two. Offload. Now, Lorish Mara oh, goes out. Massive overlap. And that'll be in Solomon. Well, it's game on. They're on life support. Minutes, but, um, 36 seconds on the clock. 8 14 kick to come. Plenty of time. Six point ball game. too much time to be discussing the ins and outs. Yeah, she's having a good chat to the ref there. I don't know if she's... And she's kicking back into the breeze this time. I'm going to have my lunch pass. She'll kick this. Oh, he's called it. i put the lunch pass on it as she lines it up. Just holds up in the breeze there. Yeah, that breeze just a bit too strong and just so. falling a bit short there. So 14-8, Burdekin Dolphins lead, 7 minutes 10 on the clock remain. Wow, there's enough time for three tries in that. And uh, we saw this yesterday, the Burdekin Dolphins, they uh, went behind with about this much time left on the clock and they were able to score two tries to get home. So, Oh, plenty of time. Like you said, they could score two to three tries. But the, uh, when you look forward to going into a semi-final, this matchup has been a bruising encounter and it's definitely going to go It's going to go deep. So the Eastern Warriors will be sitting there licking their lips at this, watching these two sides going hammer and tongs. Short kick off. Oh, yeah. oh, and smart. Smart stuff there. And she's pumped up.
They're on life support, Arab. Yeah, so the um, Bokkerikonda, the Dolphins are on attack here. They're... And how did he come back on? Yeah, she was only off for three minutes. And seen an opportunity, I think, here. They yeah, I think she be back out there. I think when once uh, United scored. Shanae Watson back. now. Oh, here's a run. A one-two punch there. Yeah, that was a good run, boy. They've the got their ex experienced front rowers back on. A dummy. Maylene known with the tackle there over the top. But here, this could be the semi-final right now. This is it. The penalty do they take? No. Got a change over. I might have snuck away from all of us there. No, we've got a scrum. Yeah, it's a scrum. Um... All right, I just had a second there to take a breath and figure out what we was doing. I knock on and play the ball. Thank you very much there. United. Now, uh, sideline commenta uh, commentating. We'll You're done see. by veteran carnival star, Braden Hall. Yeah, Braden, what is um, player of the match in 2000? And, and spent some time playing for the Cannonballs and Balance Seagulls. 2016. <laughs> On the comeback trail. Now, Arab. All taken high, and those referees are penalised her. Well, in the old adage, you couldn't run without a throat, but oh. uh, those days, thankfully, are long gone. Here's a charge by the back fence. And the crowd up on the hill, too, you can start to hear them coming into this one as well. Four minutes remaining. Six point ball game. Now, uh, there's an issue. Yeah, something. The ref's called out. Of you. Oh, she's oh getting and there's. Well, he's not taking any of it. Yeah, he's... a Burnham Dolphin player has given the ref a spray. It'll be uh, he Salil Heron, I believe. Take a bar of that. And she has been five minutes of it. Five minutes, it should yeah, be. Five, yeah. So that'll be the rest of the game for her. He's taking her time before crossing the white line here. I'm not sure what that's about, but there we go. Heggedy, that's a great charge. So number six for Burdekin Heron has been sent for five minutes. And there's only three minutes left on the clock. That could play a big part here. So the Dolphins. And another penalty. A basic penalty. And they allow him to here play on. Oh, and he said play on again. I don't know what's happening there. Ten metres out now, Arab United, Jante Mara. Flirts with the sideline, gets the ground. Two minutes, 46 on the clock. They trail by six. Well, you wouldn't be able to hear the playmaker, so I don't think we're going to see anything too elaborate. Everything to play for right now. She tries to bark from Danny Hart. Held up. So that's good to see by the Dolphins. Wow, well, there must have been a uh, and cigarette this is paper the last. in that one. Long ball. On the shoe. Gets a bounce. Oh, awkward. I don't think that was the play. I think if she would have gone for another two for the hands, I think they score in the corner. Hey, they were lined up. So they to the right. had three or four players, and she's elected to kick it. It wasn't the right choice, and I basically, with a minute 37 on the clock, you well, think they the might. Dolphins now will just run yeah. the clock out. They might. And, and it's a seven tackle set as well. So that yeah. leaves some more time. So they may as get long one as they final don't shot. Do anything silly here, the Dolphins. Just slow the play right down. They will be going into the final tomorrow at 
three o'clock to take on the Warriors. What a game. And that is going to be a fair dinkum cracker. A barn burner. Oh, that that's what be, they'll call it down the Burdekin. A barn burner. It will be a fair dinkum rip tickler. Clock tomorrow afternoon. Get What's here it? and watch it. Watson taken down there. That'll be four. 50 seconds on the clock. Daly skips out of one. Oh, bit silly play Haggerty there. Haggerty now. Oh, what a Oh, scary. they didn't need to chance their arm. Do they know there's only 39 seconds on the clock? So they're going to have one chance here. This is one United. shot, They'll have, one opportunity. They might have two plays. Two plays, 27 seconds on the clock. They might not even have enough time here no, as they pack this scrum. The time they pack it, they might get one. They will get one They'll have one shot. This is it. Winner goes on. Six seconds to go. They pack it. Solomon feeds this scrum. Jante Mara that goes the short the side. Plenty of defenders coming her way. Time will expire in the background. And the Burdekin Delton Dolphins. They go into the green final. They take on the Warriors. And what a game. What a game. Well, you don't think it means something to them. Check out the scenes. Oh. That was a gutsy, gutsy win by the Dolphins. It certainly was. They weren't the favourites. They come out and they have won by six points. The Burdekin Dolphins, 14. Arab United. And, uh, Arab United, United ladies will make Arab their exit United. from the carnival. A fantastic job they've done. We send out. Oh, they've uh, done well. Our they've... congratulations to all their players, staff, and supporters. Fantastic atmosphere they provided us here. Great carnival by the girls. But unfortunately, uh, the Dolphins have come out the winners. They've come firing at the right time. They will now meet the Warriors. And 3 go, p.m. And I'm going to go to the Dolphins. He's on. Well, there, he's got two teams. You're going to have to get a split shirt. It's Warabinder and the Burdekin Dolphins. Yes, and I am sticking with the Dolphins for tomorrow. Game starts at 3 o'clock. I'll stick with them. We'll follow on here tomorrow at 3, and we'll uh, see... Where he ends up, Eastern Warriors. Fins up, fins up. Fins up, he reckons. Fins up, fins up. there's the call from the big man. Will join us on our so next we'll stream. All the supporters out there, bring bring the fins tomorrow and we'll get behind the Burdick and Delta Dolphins. They will take on the Warriors at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Oh, yeah. Now, we'll uh, cross over now. We'll switch streams to our men's matchup. We will have Alan Ui Titans will be taking on the boys from OMS. Thank you for joining us here on our stream and keep following along. That's it. Give us a break. <laughs> 